Hello and welcome back to Adam with Bong, our troll dude. Um, yeah, so last time we found out that there's a giant vault here full of red dragons and we wanna take on that vault. <clears throat> um, I did have a look at the the previous video before starting this and I noticed that there are two different kinds of dragons here except for the baby dragons but the uh, grown-up or uh, yeah big dragons there are two different ones um, one type with their mouth closed and one with their mouth somewhat open and then I guess that one of them are ancient and one of them normal dragons I'm not too sure so uh, but, what we can do is use our newly acquired red dragon scale mail, which should at least um, help us a lot, because that gives us fire immunity as far as I know. Um, and we could check out the rest of the level before we go in. Okay, and so downstairs. Um, and of course being invisible will help a lot. Um, I think ancient dragons can see invisible quite well um, because I've been <laughs> I've been killed by ancient dragons in the in the dwarven halls even while being invisible and everything before so I'm also <clears throat> been thinking about if we should actually cure this second corruption here um, um, because being so fast does give me less uh, experience. And I do have another thing I've completely forgotten about. I should probably use it with the uh, Cat Lord and whatever is that we as a barbarian we have Mighty Blow and Tremendous Blow. And we also have this one that, you know, just because we're a barbarian, our movement cost is. Only 750 energy points. I'm just wondering if I take off these seven league boots. Now my energy cost is 600 per turn. Okay. So. Boots of speed. It doesn't change the energy cost, but it does change our speed. Yeah. Maybe it's a good idea to, for this fight, use the Eternium Boots. Six more points of protection. 49! Wow. That's pretty great. Um, but there doesn't seem to be much else on this level now. So, well... Um, yeah, I'm probably rambling a bit. <laughs> uh, it's the, whoops, the red, yeah, it's not cursed. That's good. So we should have fire immunity. That will help a lot, of course, against the dragons. Because they, they are fire dragons, of course. Um, free action. There's no chance of being paralyzed by the dragons, no. I don't think so. Um, I'd like to know what these are. Should we use a scroll of identify? Maybe we can wait with that. There's going to be a ton of loot in uh, in here <coughs> in this vault. Um, also for missiles. Do we have any cool dragon slaying stuff? Should we need it? Uh, there's seven blessed quarrels. And, um. Some unknown quarrels there. I guess we can equip these should we need that. And that's the best crossbow. Well, hmm, maybe heavy is better than a light crossbow of accuracy. I, let's see. 
now in let's just say normal mode so, um, 1157, 2 to 6 plus 28. With the heavy crossbow, it's 1152. Slightly more damage, slightly less to hit. So, yeah, I'll go for the uh, accuracy one. Oh, uh, what I'm going to do, we choose. Hmm. I guess rapid healing could come in handy. So let's see what's down here. Probably both these ways are leading into the vault. So let's go up here. There's that chaos mutant. Seems to be able to see us. And I seem to be able to kill it. <laughs> Another red dragon scale mail. Wow, thank you. Wow, it's like he's providing what you need to get in there. <laughs> well, maybe he's not a friend of the dragons. He wants me to succeed. Let's take it as a good sign. Those are the baby dragons, right? Yeah. They don't see me. Now, here you can see what I was talking about. This one is... Has his mouth open, this one has his mouth closed, otherwise they're pretty similar. But that's a female red dragon. That's an ancient red dragon, yes. Very experienced, okay. Um God now I'm very very doubtful if I can even if I'm strong enough to do this. Not harmed. If all these now become hostile and start breathing fire at me, even though I have the immunity and we still have our fireproof blanket, let's just be sure. Uh, yes, bless fireproof blanket there. Now for the ancient dragon, let's try our dragon slaying quarrels. Wow, you miss. There we go. How do we do in melee? His fire does not hurt at all. I'm just afraid there's some way the fire attacks can bypass the immunity, which you know it shouldn't really uh, happen. Oh, he's panicking. Let's be aggressive at least. Maybe even very aggressive. It takes a while to kill these guys. They're very experienced and... Uh... So, the entire vault will take its... Take a fair amount of time to complete, especially if they're gonna panic and run away all the time. Um, but I'm not taking any damage. So that's good, and it will be a, a whole lot of XP here. So there's that's a normal red dragon, 7,483 XP. That's nice. Let's see if we can slay an ancient dragon as well. Come here. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, I can do this 3,700 for a baby. Come on. Come on. Okay. Don't run away, you big ancient baby. Concentration, literacy, and mining went up. Come on, come on, come on, pow! Our cloak of protection was burned, no! There I slayed the ancient red red, red blah, 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 blah. Ancient red dragon, 59,000 XP, that's... <clears throat> 
that's nice. We need 4.5 million for the next level. So yeah, the biggest risk here seems to be item destruction. Um, the um, at least the normal red dragons can't see us. Any messages about ancient dragons uh, searching for something? You know, like like this one, the red dragon seems to search for someone or something. Yeah, we'll start cloak. That was <clears throat> three fairly nice points of protection. Cloak of invisibility is not really <laughs> any. There's not really any point in using that. Oh, well, we are taking damage. What's going on? Yeah, they... Oh, the female dragon critically hits you. So, yeah, they don't have just a fire attack. They also have, uh, I guess, a physical attack. But we should be able to regenerate quite quickly and not really have any trouble with those attacks. Of course their fire attacks can destroy the loot on the ground. Let's see if there's anything here. Um money the rest is not really interesting. <clears throat> What gauntlets are we using? The red Dragonite. Um, well, yeah, nice protection on those. So, oh, we gotta teleport. I don't know. Let's go up there for some change of. Oh. Taking damage. Mm -hmm. uh, your blessed pickaxe is burned. Oh no. Also, we should be using the uh, Chaos Orb of Elemental Fire, of course. Should help our damage output significantly. Um, but I'm surrounded by three ancient dragons now and one normal. Um, yeah. Uh, stuff on the floor melts. Uh, okay. Uh, let's just go here and rest a little bit. No. Ow. It critically hit us. Yeah, okay, so this is... Oh, Lord. Wow, now I'm really... Uh... God, 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 God. Stop, 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 stop. Um, hmm. Okay, this is proving to be quite difficult. Uh... Dragon Slayer. Oh, now he's in a, fighting in a blind rage. Uh, OK. 
Okay, this is getting scary. This guy can see me. He can see invisible. Um, hmm. um. He's gonna follow, yes. Can we outrun him? Yes, we are faster than him. Okay, so, yeah, that was pretty scary. <laughs> um, um, on, the, on, on, on such a low level like this, the, the background corruption is so high that uh, it's not a good idea to just hang around and wait for Regeneration. Um, pepper petals. They don't do that much damage. Um. <clears throat> Let's go down and see how he's doing. Okay. Panicking. Oh, go away. Yes. Wow. Okay, this guy has to have been quite a high level because it was almost one hundred thousand XP. Um that's also why he was able to do so much damage. Wow, potential strength, potential mana, water, money. Nice. Okay, yeah. Uh, he must have been a really high level ancient dragon. I, um, I have to guess at least. Um, experienced. First, um, the first ancient dragon we killed was like 59,000 XP. Okay, calm. Let's be careful. <laughs> what? Look. Experienced. Very experienced. Yeah. So. Okay, but that's that's not an ancient dragon. That's not the ancient. That's the normal. Okay. Oh. Okay, it's gonna take a while. This, <laughs> this Walt. Yes, eighty-three thousand XP. Ancient red. I'm in Berserk mode. Like I said earlier in this video, we should use our Barbarian powers of... Um, 
Let's have a look. Ancient Red Dragon. We have quite high DV and fairly high PV. About 450 hit points. Oops, did I? Did I move the microphone there? Sorry. Um, let's see here. What about a mighty blow? Okay. Oh lord, my god, why am I not paying attention here? Jesus, oh he's panicking, that's quite good. <clears throat> and... I just thought of something we could use, either a Ring of the Ice to protect our equipment. Or a second, second Ring of Slaying here. Or even regeneration. Yeah. Oh, there must have been several critical hits. I didn't I didn't pay attention to my hit points. Well uh Yeah, well, um, Oh god, no! Look at the bastard. He drank a potion of ultra healing. That's not okay. <laughs> um What options do we have for healing? We have the orb of elemental water, we have uh just Try to be quick here. Um, we have prayers, of course. We have, uh, let's see. One ultra healing there. One ultra healing there. Two extra healing. I should dip the. Uh, oh, there's a blessed ultra healing. Okay. But these uh, two extra healing, I'll dip them into holy water so that they are blessed. And um, we have some pepper, pepper petals. We have. Um, Normal spence weed. Mm. Eh. You are still raging and afraid. Ow. Holy crap. Do you see that? <laughs> That's one hit point. I think this must be my luck. Maybe not die there. Holy lord. Okay, this this uh this this vault is way too dangerous for me. <sighs> um. Okay. Uh. Like when fighting the Cat Lord, I see two options teleport away or heal.
<sighs> um. Teleporting away seems like the safer way to go. Yeah. Wand of teleportation on myself. Just get the. I'm just gonna run into here and lock the door and. Whew, my god. Um. We regenerate quickly, but. to do right now. I have to heal up completely before I can even dare to go here and try to run away. Uh, you know what, I'll actually use a prayer. I've almost not used any prayers in this game and I my piety is very high. I'm even, uh, you know, Crowned champion, so let's pray. Thank you. Okay, um, maybe I'm just not uh, strong enough for this part of the game yet. But I'm not sure what to do to gain the experience I need. Let's take a look downstairs. The air on this level is cold, the level is quite dark, and the rocks seem to be closing in on you. I'm gonna guess that this is the Earth Temple. Maybe we are strong enough to do this. Hmm. <gasps> there he is. <clears throat> At least one of them. Screw you. Haha. <laughs> no, let's be coward while we do this. Thunderstroke. As long as they don't critically hit me with their physical attack, I'm fine. And, and of course, when they are in this rage state, whatever it's called, uh, it's also. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. Let me run away. Please, thank you. I remember something. Which may or may not be a good idea. But what I do have is... Unless I've dropped it... Wormlands. I am pretty sure it's a dragon slaying two handed weapon. With quite awesome damage output, plus 15 there. My skill with two handed weapons is sort of crap, but. Mm, maybe. Let's give it a try. First, shoot him a bit. There we go. 
yes. Now, how do we do? Let's try normal mode. Okay. You miss. Aha! But full force critically wound him. Aha! Thick furs, fancy clothes, metal girdle. Holy crap! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> if I shouted there. That? That's an amulet of life saving. <laughs> I've I've heard I've read that uh, it's theoretically or it, it's possible to find it as random loot, but it's extremely rare. Holy mother! Wow! Wow! That means I can use this myself. It, you know, you can use an amulet of life saving, and it, it will save your save your life once. <coughs> well, <coughs> I need some water. Wow, I I, I can hardly believe it. Well. <laughs> Girdle. Take that, uh, no, wrong key. Oh, I'm not a life saving, yes. Sickle. Wow. <laughs> uh, unknown wand. Potion of invisibility, boost mana, um, take the food, 20,000 gold as well. Wow. Uh, no. View stuff. Look! <laughs> Holy cow! Actually, burden as well. Uh, okay, I'm not sure why I unequipped the fire orb. So I didn't mean to. Good Jesus. That's, um, I don't know if. If uh, an amulet of life saving can be destroyed by fire, but I think I might use this ring of ice just in case. Five arrows of dragon slaying. Ooh. Well, that's a good idea to use with our longbow of accuracy. Well, my skill is a bit higher with crossbows, but Swamp Hydra. Well, 
on. <laughs> okay, um, okay I'm, I'm still a bit shaken by finding that amulet, so this potion, uh, no, let's pick up these, these potions, and ration, and meat, and money. Well, I <laughs> feel like I'm on a roll here. Oh, what? Suddenly, Nguyen, the doppelganger, appears out of nowhere. Oh, this is one of those fairly new named unique enemies you can find here and there. Hmm. Usually you get a message. Um, he doesn't care about us. No, he's... Shock. Okay, there's... Well, if he doesn't care about me, then... I guess that's fine. Oh! Okay, here comes the message I was wanting. This was a warrior from a long forgotten epoch that was trying to please others too much. He was cursed and turned into a doppelganger that takes the form of passing travelers and preys on them. So now he is hostile and searching for me. Hmm. Um, no free action, that's not confusion resistance. <clears throat> I really don't want to be confused around ancient dragons. Can we easily kill this guy? Okay. <laughs> well, that's that taken care of. Oh, Wormlands is a pole arm weapon. Uh -huh. Okay, then I'm not sure about this skill. If this one is like an additional skill for two arm, yeah, because you can have two handed swords and uh, stuff. Hmm. Anyway, Wormlands seems to be doing quite well against these these uh, dragons. Uh, la la la. Pow. Yes. There we go. Blue gauntlets could be good. Not sure if we need them, but that's fine. And this we can take. Yeah, sorry if I killed your baby there, but <sighs> that's life. <laughs> uh. Oh, okay. Level up. <laughs> um, I, I, 
Okay. What do we increase? I should be wearing my ring of learning so we get more skill increases. But oh well, uh, I guess we'll just push this one to 100 and concentration and first aid and. Eh, there's not. Tactics. One point. Eh. Let her see. I don't know. Haggling. Ah. Okay, it's now level 22. 378 hit points. Hmm. Scroll of Corruption Removal. Uh, what we also should be doing is... Um, eating more gas for willpower increase. So, no. This is enough for now to get willpower to 22. Uh, could be. A gray dagger. <clears throat> That's nice. It's probably a face dagger. If I'm not mistaken, let's eat some of all these rations. Good lord, it's so many. Wow, great meal. Out of the way. Wow. All right. Ooh, look at that ring of slaying. That's been better than what I have. Um, and all this other equip stuff looks good. Metal boots, long spear, sixty-seven stone. Mm, I'm not sure if what that, what exactly that is, but. Mm, uh no and yeah we we'll stick to the ring of ice I guess yep. Right, quick break there. Um, also, I see that this video is quite long. At over 40 minutes already, so I should probably end it soon. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I looked up the, um, the uh, Amulet of Life Saving, and it is indeed made of iron, so it's uh, vulnerable to being destroyed so I'm gonna keep the ring of ice and the elemental you no know, the fireproof blanket and everything that can protect it um, finishing this vault will take quite some time um, I think I'll end this video here this has been <laughs> enough excitement for for now and uh, I don't want to make this video like two hours long but I guess in the next one we can uh, hopefully finish up this vault and move on with our adventure so um, yes that's it thank you all for watching and uh, please do join me again next time until then take care